Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about one of my rather strange looking and odd Echinopsis cactus plants. And these are our Echinopsis uh, cacti here. They have quite a few different types, as you can see there. Most commonest one will be the Domino, the, the Echinopsis subdenudata, commonly known as the sea urchin. But there's lots of different varieties we have here in our collection and some more also here and they've been constantly blooming all through the summer for us more flower buds on the way there it's really exciting to see and lots of seed pods forming as well because pollinated the flowers and there's seed pods on the go so they'll be ready to harvest probably in the next next few weeks so that's exciting but the one i'm going to talk about today is this one here and I wanted to make a video about this because I get so many people ask me what is this cactus and tell me a bit more about it. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the history behind this cactus. This is actually um, an Echinopsis subdenudata variety. When I bought it it actually wasn't labelled but I sort of ID'd it myself because obviously it has the the spotty sort of domino spots on it, commonly seen with these, although you can see it's very different. These are much more f uh, felted areoles and much more whiter. It's also a darker green cactus, as this one has always been a lighter green one. Um, but it's similar, so it must be some type of hybrid or something. Um, and if, when I got it, probably had it probably about 10 years, and it flowered every single year, usually one bloom at a time or two blooms. But the one year it had five amazing multiple flowers on it. And I made a video at the time, this go back a few years ago now, and if you didn't see that video when I, I filmed this in multiple bloom, then links up above to that video and also down below in the video description, there was five blooms all at the, all at the same time. It was absolutely stunning. So you, you must check that out. And after that, Shortly after that, obviously the I, the blooms came off. I didn't pollinate them at the time, and it wasn't a, didn't work. But um, I noticed that the growing growing tip was scabby, and I looked close, and it looked like it possibly could be either some type of mealybug attack the growing point, or spider mite, which is very common with cacti and succulents, and you don't see the damage till afterwards. Didn't seem to be any any real harm. Anyway, I treated the plant to be on the safe side and no signs of bugs since. Anyway, the following year, I noticed that where the, the scabbiness was, a little tiny new growth was coming right in the middle of it. And it obviously wasn't a flower. The flowers actually come from the areoles here, which are around the edges, as you can see. This is where the buds are forming there. They come out of there. And I thought, what is it? And then as the, the weeks grew, it actually realised it was another pup growing right at the growing point. And what happened is that the growing point had been killed, knocked back. And then it started to form a pup like this. Obviously, over time, this is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I did show you um, another example of how this has happened before as well with one of my other cacti with a large ferro cactus that I've had for a long time. This one here is my very large fer ferro cactus. And it did many, many years ago. And I've had this for about 26 years, possibly longer. The growing tip also got scabby on this one. And I actually cut the top, the top of it off because I didn't know what to do with it. I thought, oh, what's going to happen? It could spread down. And it calloused over. And then three big, huge, big pups have formed since then. And I've left them on because they look amazing. It's a great, I'm just show you the size of my hand to this. It is a huge, huge, beautiful ferro cactus. Great age tree. And I think it looks amazing with all the pups on it. So I'm pretty sure that this is doing a similar type of thing. The growing tip has been been um, affected and then the pups growing at the top so that's why it looks like it does but I haven't had flowers since this has happened and as I say the flowers it shouldn't really have affected the flowering because the flowers do actually come out of the areas around the, the edge on the um, on the, the felted parts here not the growing tip but I think the energy has been going to producing the pup as this has been getting bigger and not to producing flowers and it's interesting how it's more of a paler color now usually with cacti that are paler there's sometimes it can be down to chlorosis and things like that but this has always been a lime green color and i just show you the echinopsis do vary in color some of these are also more lime green as well and this one as well is more of a lime green some of them are darker green 
And that's how they, how they look. But other than that, it's a healthy plant. It's get, it gets fatter and fatter every year. But I just wanted to share a little video about this because people are always asking me. So they want to know what it is. Well, it's an Echinopsis subdenudata um, sea urchin domino variety. Obviously some type of hybrid, I think. But that's the history behind it. And do check out the video when this was in beautiful bloom, guys. It is spectacular. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know how to remove the uh, little cactus pups that Echinopsis produce, I'm not going to be removing that one, obviously, because I'm going to leave it. But when they do form multiple pups, as in this case here, you can see all around the, all around here and here, you can. they are quite easy to remove by just gently twisting them. I've made a video on how to remove them and pop them up. So do check that video out if you haven't done already. Links will be up above and down below in the video description. And if you want to know a bit more on how to grow cacti and suckers, then please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. And bye from the crazy Echinopsis. Bye.